Um, we are tiling a floor, and we're tiling in the floor in a room with four walls that aren't square to each other, but it's essential that we get our tiling square. So for more on that and how you set that out, go to look at our tiling a floor video. But what we're gonna do now is show you how to set out a square in the middle of a room that isn't square. Um, now we want our tiles to be square, in this case, to this particular wall. We've chosen one wall we want them to be square to. And we've drawn a line um, parallel with that wall, actually 480 centimeter millimeters from that wall and there's a line going through the building as you can see and we want our tiles to come square off that line so it's important that we draw a line that's square to that now you can buy um, folding chairs they're quite expensive you can buy square flooring square apparatus but there is a very very simple way um, let's say we want to start here because that's where we've worked out our first tile needs to be. As I said, see our floor tiling video for more on that. And then we can mark um, three units along this line. Um, it doesn't matter if they're centimetres, millimetres, feet, yards, metres. Um, the bigger the better if you've got the room. Okay, now that's three feet. This method is called the 3-4-5 method. It's taken straight from Pythagoras' theorem and it shows you how to set out a perfect square. So that's three units along our main line and then we're going to come along the square here somewhere. So we're going to measure four units from that point. You'll notice that I always mark my points with an arrow rather than just a line so that there's no question whatsoever where that point starts. Okay, and I'm going to come along here, I'm going to guess that something uh, close to square for the time being and that's four units around about here okay and I'm going to do, I'm not going to use an arrow that time, I'm just going to put a line approximately four units okay now from at my point on this line that I marked at three the hypotenuse of this triangle should be five so we've marked three, four, five. So that I know, if I put my line just there, on the line that I drew before, I can quite safely draw my line from there to there. I have a longer straight edge here. So I can draw, let me show you, that line from there to there. Knowing that this side of my line I put at three units, in this case three feet. This side of the line I put a mark at four units, in this case four feet, and I know that the hypotenuse or my triangular line is going to be exactly five feet. So that's the three, three, four, five method of introducing a rectangle into a room or onto a wall that isn't square at all.